Hello everyone, my name is Yuko Tomizuka. I'm a global real estate investment advisor with 30 years of experience and I have evaluated so far more than 20,000 of cases. Today I'd like to speak something about Japanese business philosophy. Six fundamental attitudes to secure your success. Mr. Inamori, he is a legendary entrepreneur in Japan. He founded Kyocera and KDDI, one of the top three telecommunication companies in Japan, and he saved Japan Airline. Mr. Inamori mentioned the six fundamental attitude for business leaders to demonstrate for them to live in a, a prosperity and fulfillment. Those are the following. Number one, stop yourself much harder than anyone else. Number two, be always humble, keep your endeavor. Number three, reflect to your daily life. Number four, do good. Be faithful, think about altruism. Number five, maintain always a gratitude to your life. Number six, take everything optimistic and do not waste your energy for anxiety. Last time I spent some time on it. Why it is so important, number one, strive yourself much harder than anyone else. Today, I'd like to explain the number two to six. Number two, be always humble, keep your endeavor. This is obviously important. Those who are arrogant and never know the world of appreciation would not have any support or help from others, even though they demonstrate their power. The number of people who can be controlled by the power will be gradually decreased and the controlling power will be limited. And therefore, sooner or later, those arrogant ones may be abandoned from the society or from a group. On the other hand, this is the indication of a realization, what you already have, for those who always feel being lack of something, may never pay attention what they have already been given. This principle also has us get aware what you already have and how to make the best use of them. Number three, reflect to your daily life. Psychologically, I like to interpret this to reduce your emotion. Compared with the people under Latin culture, those who are Least and Anglo-Saxon or Japanese culture are not so emotional and tend to hide their emotions. My Brazilian husband is always open to his emotions and never gets stressed by hiding his emotions or feelings. Such hidden emotions, however, eventually accumulated and embedded in your subliminal mind. Those subliminal minds are said to influence our behavior, affect the fact which are actually happening in, in our daily lives. This can be interpreted as a negative spiral, hiding a negative emotion, being established as subliminal mind, governing our actions and creating the fact by reflecting our daily lives, works to stop such negative spiral. And instead, we can change our emotion, releasing our emotion by daily reflection, rewriting our subliminal minds changing our behaviors, and ultimately changing the facts and events. Number four, do good, be faithful. Think about autism. This is something hard to understand non-Japanese people, especially Westerns. Japanese tend to value the loyalty and avoid being harsh to our business partners. I'd like to take an episode on Naoki Hanzawa. This is famous TV drama series and a banker. Naoki, who overcomes a lot of obstacles brought about under Japanese business practices. For instance, in a meeting with Teikoku Airline, Japan's top airline company, and is about to bankrupt due to the excess debt. Naoki told the management team that you are not serious about financial conditions and don't look like feeling any responsibility to the company's status. It is, say, you, the management team, who is actually responsible for the heavy debt. I must insist our involvement into your development in your developing civil revitalization planning. Naoki's boss looked astonished and scolded Naoki as he was very rude to the top management of the giant company. This drama has been well watched in Japan nationwide. One of the principal reasons is Naoki's advocating messages that many Japanese business persons have been holding in their mind and have motivation to change. What Naoki did is actually good and faithful practice, as well as altruism. On the other hand, what Naoki's boss did was superficial good market practice, which has been maintained under Japanese business environment. Mr. Inamori has always been telling us to do the good things and altruism, taking into account the nature of the phenomena, as did Naoki. 
Number five, maintain always a gratitude to your life. This is a message of tendering your daily life as if it is the last day of your life. As the very last day of your life, what kind of message would you leave to your beloved ones? Complaints, anger, sarcastic words. If you leave such words, your life looks very miserable. Leave and send gratitude to others. Mr. Inamori encourages us to do so. Take everything optimistic and do not waste your energy for anxiety. When I am in a disaster, I think that this is a result of my past sins, faults, or karma. If so, I should not get depressed with that disaster. Rather, I have to celebrate, simply because all my karma had to be gone with such a small disaster. My destiny did give me a small unpleasant event instead of taking all my life. This is very important to live positively and powerfully without feeling troubles, Mr. Inamori said. I totally agree with him. Under Japanese Zen philosophy, everything happening in our lives are the ones we have created so far. We certainly have created some causes in our past to the phenomena which are just happening in front of us. Therefore, there is no use for us to curse our destiny or to blame our even others. Therefore, to sum up, the six important practices in our lives are as follows. Number one, strive yourself much harder than anyone else. Number two, be always humble. Keep your endeavor. Number three, reflect your daily life. Number four, do good, be faithful, think about altruism. Number five, maintain always a gratitude to your life. Number six, take everything optimistic and do not waste your energy for anxiety. Regardless of the entity, as an individual or country, as long as we maintain such attitudes, we can be successful in our business and lives. If you like the video, please like this channel. Thank you.